class of 2020, you are obviously being set up for greatness. You were born around the tragedies of September 11th when perspective in the U.S. changed completely. And now you're graduating the year of COVID-19 when everything is canceled or postponed and the perspective of everyone in the world is changing. Both are huge events that nobody saw coming. I graduated in 2000. I like to refer to this year as the year that wasn't. When the ball dropped on New Year's Eve 1999, it was predicted to be the end. Computers were going to crash. Everything was going to go into complete mayhem. It was going to be the end of the world. Nothing happened. We were so excited to be considered the first class of the new millennium because 1999 was the last class. After we graduated, we found out that 2001 is considered the first class. So what is class of 2000? This is Sabrina Boyles, class of 2000, vocal major in all the top groups and active thespian musical theater. I had no clue what I wanted to do in life, except go to college. College was the best four years. If that's the route you are going, enjoy every moment. Be active in campus groups and events. These memories will last forever. I was a vocal major and also a Kappa Delta sister at Rollins College. Graduated in 2004, still uncertain of what was next. Fast forward to now. This is me, Sabrina Browning, in year 16 of teaching elementary music married, two dogs, worship leader, worship choir director. And I need to add that I'm currently YouTube and TikTok famous to my students who are like five to 12, whatever. So this girl said that she would never teach music, like ever. 16 years later, still doing it. This girl said that she would never, ever teach for choir. Like, ever. That's like, not me. This girl teaches a choir of children, but also adults and youth. My life timeline, you know, go to college, meet the man of my dreams, get engaged after college, by 24 be married, by 26 have kids, all while having a thriving music career and traveling the world. Yeah, that didn't happen. I got married at 34. But I realize life can't be planned. I know right now it is so upsetting and I cannot even begin to understand all the emotions you're going through. But now's the time to stop and refocus on the positive. This is not the end. Not to sound cliche or like an old person, because I'm not, well, I'm This is just the beginning of the rest of your life. Make the best of this. Set up lunch dates via video call. Make spirit weeks with pictures on social media. Don't focus on what you think you're missing out on. Create new memories that no other graduating class has ever been able to experience before. We are students of DA. Being creative is a way of life. As you enter this new chapter of life, do it boldly. Whether it's going to college or starting a new career, do it with excitement and joy. Whether or not your next steps include your arts area, never stop creating. You can be a doctor and paint in your free time or a stay-at-home mom who opens up a dance studio. We all leave DA and do so many different things. Never compare your greatness to someone else. Trust me, being an alumni of our high school and not comparing ourselves to others is very hard. The struggle is real. I have friends 
friends that are on Broadway. I have friends that toured with bands all over the world. I have friends that are on big movies with Tom Cruise and television shows. I just teach music. But over the past 16 years, I've touched thousands of children's lives. And to me, that's pretty great. So class of 2020, you've got this. You were born for greatness. Now go out and get it. Hi. I'm Ida Hendricks, class of 93. Sean Hendricks, class of 89. Vocal music major. Percussion instrumental. And uh, we would just like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. And welcome to the DA alumni group. Congratulations, guys. You've got a long road ahead of you. Just take it. Enjoy the ride. Remember, don't take anything for granted. Don't take each other for granted. Remember that everybody that you know is who you have to rely on. Yes. And always, always treat people like you want to be treated. That's our advice to you guys. And to our extra special senior, oh, Ethan right. Shane, uh, Cinematic Arts, Class of 2020. Oh. We're so incredibly proud of you, and we want you to know that there are no shortcuts in life, and as much work as you put into things is what you're going to get out of it. And remember that we always love you unconditionally, and that we we'll always have your back. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Hello, Douglas Anderson, class of 2020, and to anyone else watching this video, my name is Zach Taylor, and I graduated in 2001. I can understand your feelings and frustrations right now as the world has changed because of the health pandemic of COVID-19. It's had a direct impact on your school year. It's had a direct impact on my life here in New York. And one of the most important lessons I've learned in my life is that you have to trust yourself in times of uncertainty. Life has a way of challenging you, and life will always be full of those circumstances which are out of your control. You have to adapt and overcome. Expect the unexpected, catch the curveballs, and continue to focus on your dreams and goals. It's so important. Don't lose track of what you want to do. And remember that you are part of a big community, Douglas Anderson. Douglas Anderson is more than an arts high school. It is a community of diverse, intelligent, magnificent people. I still have a lot of friends from Douglas Anderson that I keep in touch with very often. Us art school kids are a little different, and you probably know that. We like to sing together, dance together, make movies, make art, play music, explore our creativity and imaginations together. That's why it's important that we stick together. Take care of yourselves and stay focused on your dreams. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Whitney McCrary, and it's a pleasure and a privilege to share graduating from Douglas Anderson with you. Um, I want to welcome you into the world of uh, the creative industry and I want um, to encourage you that the world needs you and they need you just being you. Uh, in a time where information and content is valued over imagination and wonder it takes a lot of courage to go into the creative industries. And I wish you all the best on your path. And our, all of our paths are different. Uh, and no matter how long or short, um, it takes you to reach where you want to go in life. I wish you all the courage and bravery you need to reach it. Hello there, class of 2020. Uh, I am Beauregard Hoffman. I am class of 95. 1995. That is the year of the O.J. Simpson trial. The car chase was the year before, though, 94. I currently live in L.A., um, the city of angels, and I am making a video to show you perspective, if you need it. We live in a saturated marketplace, so thank you for staying on this grid. Uh, of creating so no matter what we got this we're gonna create and after dark ages is a renaissance so think of it as simultaneous it's a simultaneous blend of a renaissance right in the middle of a dark age so keep working and back everything up no matter what I love you
Hello, congratulations seniors. Uh, my name is Jen Harold Taylor. I was a vocal grad major and graduated in 1995, um, back before Mr. O'Connor had a lot of gray hair. And just wanted to say congratulations and you, we're just so proud of you. DA is not like every other high school as hopefully you guys know and can appreciate and it really shaped, shaped my life and I am so excited for all the wonderful things that you are going to be doing and if you ever need any help I've been an elementary music educator for a long time and we're there for you so enjoy your senior year enjoy your moment and best wishes best wishes for the future Hi friends, I'm Holly M. Butler, graduating class of Douglas Anderson 2001, and I just wanted to say happy graduation class of 2020. I know how difficult it must be for you to not be able to walk across the stage, but if it makes you feel any better, I walked out the wrong aisle at my graduation. Yep. I know it must be difficult to not be graduating. I am in New York right now and my Broadway show was postponed as well. So I know how hard it is to have to put off some of the things you really want to be able to do. But graduation or not, your time with DA will always be with you. It's a really special place and I know everyone, your loved ones, your friends, your family must be so, so proud of you. Happy graduation class of 2020. DA class of 2020, what's happening? My name is Tony Oliveris, class of 19, very long time ago. Just wanted to share a couple quick thoughts, maybe a mindset. Um, right now, times, this is, this is the weirdest world that we could possibly be living in. Um, and it's not fair that you guys are being deprived of some of the, the basic essentials of the senior class experience. That being said, one of the most important lessons that you can learn in life is that life is not fair. Fair is a place you go. Although you're probably gonna have to do some kind of virtual prom thing, which honestly sounds kind of lame. Don't just focus on, on what you guys have lost. Focus on what you've been given. This is actually a pretty unique opportunity. Uh, think of it like this. You're being given, it could be 30 days, it could be 60 days, it could be 90 days. But imagine you are being given uninterrupted time to focus on a number of things, whether it be uh, nutrition and physical training, your art form, and overall mental health, all of these things you can do. People have been wishing for this kind of time for themselves for years. If I only had the time, if I only had the time, right now, you guys do have the time. What are you going to do with it? Hi, seniors, my sweet 2020 seniors. Um, I don't know if you guys know me or remember me, but my name is Anna and I was class of 2016. I am a current senior at Texas State for musical theater. Um, and I just wanted to reach out and say that I love you guys so much. And <clears throat> everyone is going through this super weird and crazy time right now, but know that so many people are sending you love and support at this moment. I can't imagine what you guys are going through. Um, I'm going through it right now with college, but high school is a little bit different and I completely understand that. Douglas Anderson was some of the best years of my entire life. Um, I know there were probably a lot of unsaid goodbyes and that is to friends and teachers, but know that this will all be over one day and whether or not that's soon, we're all going through it together. So no, please know that you're not alone. Um, I don't get to walk or graduate. Uh, our New York showcase was canceled. So understand that the industry is waiting for you. Colleges are waiting for you. Everyone understands that this is happening right now. So don't have any anxiety about feeling like you're missing out. Um, I know that's much easier said than done, but I'm sure Douglas Anderson is going to find a way to make up for all of the special lost memories. Um, the video you guys posted made me cry, and you guys inspire me every day, and I miss it every day. But hang in there. You got this. We got this. Puffins forever. Love you guys. You're going to be okay. Also, really quickly, wanted to add, you guys will have each other for the rest of your life, no matter what. The friends I made at Douglas Anderson 
whether or not I said bye to them, I still am friends with them to this day. Even if we don't talk every day, everything continues just the way it is left off. Please know that the family you have at Douglas Anderson will be your family forever. If any of you guys ever want to reach out to me and talk about what you're going through at this time, during this time, please don't hesitate. All of us are here for you. Whatever you need, know that you have a giant support system under you. And shout out to Alana and Mallory. Love you guys. Just wanted to add that on. Hi, I'm Luke Willis, and I am a theater major from the Douglas Anderson class of 2000. Congratulations to you, Douglas Anderson School of the Arts class of 2020. What a huge accomplishment. Not only because you're graduating high school, but because you're graduating from a school that has demanded such a high level of academic achievement while also requiring such an exceptional level of artistic achievement. You did that. No one can ever take that from you. Graduation ceremony or no, you should be so proud of yourself. With everything that's going on in the world right now, I personally am so grateful for and reminded of a really important quality that I learned from my teachers early on at the center. A quality that was has been so important to achieving the incredibly fulfilling and satisfying career that I have had as a professional artist. Quality is resilience. We learn through our passion for our art to never give up. We learn to face fear head on, to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off when we've fallen down. We learn to look at roadblocks and find a way through them, never ever giving up on our goals and our dreams. That resilience is so important to accomplishing in life, and that resilience is why I know that while right now it seems like you are being robbed of something so important, you're going to be okay. This moment, this moment is an important beginning moment, a first early chapter in the story of you. As artists, we have an important role in civilization. We are the keepers of stories and the influencers of hearts and minds. It is our responsibility to lean in, to experience all of life's highs and lows fully so that we can come back and relay the lessons learned through the stories and the art that we give back to the world. Don't be afraid right now. Lean into this moment. Allow this moment to define you. Because one day, you will define this moment for the world and for history. Joseph Campbell, who has done so much to define the role of an artist in civilization, he says, opportunities to find deeper powers within ourselves come in life's So, take on this challenge. Don't be afraid. Be resilient. I am so proud of you, and I have faith that you are going to do great things one day. So remember, you are proud to sow the new cow. So go out and let the world hear your mighty new. <laughs> hey, class of 2020. I'm Henry Bordeaux, class of 2001. I'm one of many people that came out of DA that have had a successful career from the arts area that they started at. Check this out. And it all started at Douglas Anderson. So cherish the time you had at DA, but follow your dreams and have fun doing it. Welcome to the big leagues class of 2020. Hello Douglas Anderson class of 2020. 
I hope you take the skills and knowledge and talents that you've cultivated over the last four years and you build on this foundation. You grow it into a voice that is all your own. The world eagerly awaits the next wave of artists and each of them lives in all of you. Congratulations class of 2020. We cannot wait to see your gifts in action. Douglas Anderson School of the Arts, class of 2020. I was literally there 20 years ago. I graduated in 2001 and uh, Douglas Anderson changed my life. I would not have had access to the things that I have access to now in my life and in the artistic world because of that school, uh, all of that is possible. I wanna tell you, when I first moved to New York uh, in August 2001, September 11th happened three weeks later and I thought the world was over. I thought that I would no longer be a jazz musician. I thought it was the apocalypse. Um, but I have to tell you, the city came together in a way that I never saw and never experienced before. And I was able to have a really cool uh, career and opportunities. And so I say that to say, after COVID, there is life. We don't know what that life will be, but so many of you that are graduating will have a life. It may mean that, you know, college may be different for a couple of years or, you know, levels of virtual interaction may be something you have to lean upon. But I want you to know life will go on. So continue to believe, continue to be courageous and know that you matter and that the world will continue to unfold some wonderful things for you. But at this point, I think we just need to have faith, have faith that there is a great life for you and ahead of you. And um, God bless each and every one of you. Um, congratulations. You got through high school. Now it's time to graduate into and on to some other really amazing things. Take care. My name is Scott Beyer. I went to Douglas Anderson as well, graduated 2004 for guitar. And, um, you know, I just want to talk for a minute about so some weird times we're going through right now. And um, it can be a little frustrating to, you know, a lot of people are struggling health-wise, a lot of people are struggling financially, a lot of people don't know, you know, Am I gonna lose my house? Am I gonna lose this? Am I gonna lose that? It's you know a lot of a lot of it's scary right now to be to be real with you. But you know I'm sort of taking this whole thing and trying to turn it into an opportunity to have lots of practice time on my hands. You know I'm, I live by myself, so a lot of. A lot of folks are just really, really losing their minds because they don't have something to put their energy into. And luckily, as artists, we have we have passion, we have craft, crafts, you know. So just just focus on your craft. Focus on doing something that you love to do, and um, you know, there's a discipline to it. There's a little bit of a work ethic to practicing. You know, you don't just roll out of bed being as good as you want to be and myself I'm never happy with with where I'm at I mean not that I'm unhappy I just am always there's always something that I can improve um, you know progress is not an instantaneous thing it's that's the frustrating aspect of it is it's a very gradual process and, you know this society this day and age it's it's very hard to we want that instant gratification. I, I still struggle. I struggle with that daily. You know, you want that reward instantly for your hard work. But I promise you, if you put a lot of hard work into it and practicing, doing the right kind of practicing as well, um, it will be worth it in the end. Or you know, there is no end game to art, but it will be worth it further along as you progress. And just always remember, uh, progress is, it's not instantaneous. It's always taking a couple steps forward, one step back, and, you know, just remembering it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So continue on your journeys, and I hope everyone stays healthy and everyone, you know, stays financially okay and everything that they're struggling with right now. So, good luck to you. Hi, class of 2020. My name is Rebecca Shorstein, and I graduated from Douglas Anderson in 2002 as a vocal performance major. And I'm now living in New York City as an opera singer. Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating this year. So exciting. I remember how intense the program was at DA, so this is no 
small feat. And I also know that the the program at DA helped to shape my life in so many ways between the, the friends that I made, the teachers, the experiences that I had. I know I would not be where I am today without all of that. And now, no matter where you go next, you have officially joined the elite club of DA graduates. So congratulations! <laughs> class of 2020. Um, I know most of you already know me, and for those of you that don't, I'm Bambi Merwin. I'm Morgan Merwin's mom, who is also a senior at DA. But on top of that, I am also an alumni from DA, vocal music alumni. Uh, graduated class of 99, and I just wanted to tell you a little something to help, hopefully help you, to understand how much we love and support you, and we are so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished. I'm not very good with words, so I had to sit down and write something. So if you just bear with me, I'm going to try to read this to you. This is probably like the tenth time that I've recorded this because I keep getting emotional and choked up because I really do care about you kids and I know that you're going to go far. So here it goes. <laughs> I find myself at a loss for words. I have gone over this in my head a million times, trying to find the right words to say to you. But the truth is, my heart is heavy and my mind is clouded. How could I ever find the right words to heal such a deep hurt? I know that many people will never fully understand how you are feeling, and they may belittle your emotions, saying that they aren't valid and that everyone is hurting right now or so-and-so had it way worse. But let me tell you this, they are wrong. I find myself reminded of this quote that always resonates with me. It goes like this. You are, feel you are, <sighs> your feelings are valid and you have every right to feel whatever emotion you want. You aren't being dramatic. You aren't over-exaggerating. You are feeling, and that is okay. You see, people will never completely understand because they've not been where you are. You've worked so hard for 13 years, pushing through struggles of academics and perfecting your talents. hitting setback after setback, but still pushing through and persevering. You have earned every minute of your senior year. You were robbed of that, and it's not fair. Never let anyone tell you to stop feeling, because feeling is what gives you power. Feelings are fuel to help you push through. Scream. Cry whatever you need to do to get through this but under no circumstance and I mean this absolutely no circumstance are you allowed to give up you have worked too hard to stop now I can't promise that this will be easy or that it will pass swiftly but what I can promise is that you will heal and you will succeed just keep pushing through Remember you are not alone in this. Reach out, ask for help, be brave, and most importantly, keep fighting. You got this. We got this. It's gonna be okay. I have never been prouder to say that I know somebody than to say that I know the Douglas Anderson School of the Arts Class of 2020. You are amazing fabulous and talented. You are strong and resilient. I see big things in your future. So keep reaching. Keep on climbing. The sky is not the limit. It goes much higher than that. Be the star that you were born to. I love you guys. And you'll be fine because you're amazing. And we're going to be here to lift you up. Bye. 
So, uh, good morning. Just want to take a moment to congratulate the Douglas Anderson School of the Arts class of 2020. Hi there, you guys. Congratulations. My name is Michonne Azori Body. I graduated as a dance major on June 9th, 1993. And I can honestly tell you it was one of the happiest days of my life. So uh, I wish you much happiness, much peace, much joy as you graduate. And may God bless you. Douglas Anderson, class of 2020. I'm Lauren Owsley. And I'm Leslie Owsley. And, and we, we are, are the Owsley Twins. We were in the first group of kids that went to DA way back when. Way and back when they first opened the doors. It is an exciting time, just like it is for you. You're the seniors to the top of all of us. You're top of everything. You're from DA. So, we want to say congratulations, class of 2020. Go out there and show them what DA Douglas Ayers is all about. Everyone knows them. Knows and, us. And, well, every, yeah, everybody knows people from DA because we're superstars, of course. Broadway, we just saw a show with a graduate from Of DA. course, they're all over the place. So, right now, you're not with your friends right now, but... you have made been, friends that you'll last a lifetime. We have friends still that we know today from DA. You had a fabulous senior year, and you still going to have a fabulous senior year. And I want you to go out there and show them what DA is made of. And so congratulations. Congratulations. From the Owsley Twins to you. The class of 2020. 2020. I can't believe it. 2020. Congratulations. congratulations. Hi, Douglas Anderson, class of 2020. I know you must be so excited to finally come to the end of all your hard work. I know what that's like. My son is um, also graduating this year. And when I think about all the things that um, have transpired in my life since I graduated from Douglas Anderson in 96, it's really um, so special what that time was like to um, learn about my gifts and to explore my talents and um, to really decide who I was for myself. And so I uh, want to congratulate you on your accomplishment. And I think the question of whether or not uh, you will accomplish your dreams is definitely settled because you guys are a very talented class and probably of any generation the class of 2020 is the most empathetic and caring and so I want to commend you for that and I just want to say that it's not about whether or not you accomplish your dreams because that's for sure but I think that it's about how you accomplish them and this time of difficulty here right at the end of your high school journey is just going to serve to build character and perseverance in your lives and you're going to be able to show that hope to others and you're going to be able to show compassion and I just uh, want to tell you congratulations 2020. Hello class of 2020 Heather vocalist class of 2000 here if you've learned anything this year I hope that it is that life is unpredictable 20 years ago, I knew that I wanted to sing and write music, but if you had told me that I'd be doing it while homeschooling my five kids in the middle of South America during a worldwide pandemic, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But if you've learned anything else, I hope that it is that no matter why you went to Douglas Anderson, you are an artist. And artists create art, but they also create opportunity and life. So no matter what life brings you this year or in the next 20 years, Get out there and keep creating. We're counting on you. Congratulations. Hello and congratulations, class of 2020, Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. My name is Rebecca Richardson, formerly known as Becky Daly, a visual artist, class of 2001. I just want to say that we're in this crazy pandemic. I'm filming from my backyard here in Pensacola, Florida. It's crazy to even think that we are living in a pandemic right now. And I pray that wherever you are right now, that you're safe and you're healthy. I've been to Hawaii. I've been to San Diego. I've been to New York. I've been to Washington. And I always had somebody from Douglas Anderson nearby. And of course, if you ever get homesick, you come back to Jacksonville and there's always, always people there that love and care for you. Just know that wherever you go in life, you will always have Douglas Anderson alumni close by. We're family, we're friends, and if you're ever in the Pensacola area, look me up. 
What is up, Douglas Anderson School of the Art, class of 2020? I am Ray Hollister. I'm from the class of 1999. Yes, that was a million years ago. I was a vocal major at Douglas Anderson, and I just wanted to say how proud I am of you guys. I thought it was cool being in the class of 1999, because we were like at the end of the millennium or century, depending on how you measure it, whatever. I thought that was cool. But your class is the absolute coolest, okay? I know, this sucks. All of the crap that has happened to you guys is awful, and I wish it hadn't, but you guys are going to have like an amazing story to tell for the rest of your life. It's going to be unique and different, and that is what makes one of the many things that makes you guys awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am so, so proud of you all, and I know that you're going to be amazing, because Hard times make us stronger, and you guys are going to be absolutely incredible. So, just wanted to share that with you. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, what's this weird guy in the basement telling us about? But that's because I'm a weird guy in a basement, and that's that's what I'm, I'm doing right now, is just telling you how awesome you are. And uh, you guys are going to rock. So, congrats on graduating. <laughs> hey, class of 2020. Um... I'm Marina Davidson. I graduated in 2001 with visual arts, but um, I just want to come in and congratulate you and tell you, you guys are wonderful. Way to go, way to finish strong. You know, your life is all ahead of you and you have so much more in store. I'm so proud of you. Um, I might have had some of you in my classes along the way. I teach kindergarten through eighth grade art right now and um, if that's you, I'm so proud of you. Way to go. All of you guys, just keep going, keep doing what you're doing, enjoy life, and um, can't wait to see all of what you guys create in the future. All right? Congratulations. Bye. Well, hello. You are graduated, or about to be, and you should be so proud of yourself, because I am. And even though it might not look how you always wanted it to look, you have overcome so much. You have used your talent to touch so many people, to overcome so many things. And soon, we will be on the other side of this. So you keep on keeping on. Congratulations. Class of 2020. My name is Rachel Gunter. I am your Band Booster alumni member. I am the Class of 99 vocal major. And I am the mother to Angelina Gunter, who's in the Class of 2020. When I decided to do this video with my friends and call out everybody and try to pull everybody together, I had one thing in mind that the class of 2020 knows how much this, the alumni network at Douglas Sanderson cares about you. And we do. We're here to support you in your future art and anything that you need. Make sure you post what you're doing. Make sure you tell us what you're doing. Come back and volunteer at the school so that the next generation can benefit from your wisdom from this time in quarantine. I want to say to a few special seniors who I've watched grow up that no matter where your path takes you, remember that the journey is wonderful and that there is always a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. I love you class of 2020 and I hope that you all have the most wonderful life and that as you find your Douglas Anderson friends who have graduated in years and decades before you, that you know that you're loved and that you're always loved by the administration, the faculty, and the parents, and that your alumni network is now part of your extended family and that we're here for you. Remember, part of Douglas Anderson. Not many kids can say that. What you want to know is how we thought of high school. Get me a beer, Nita. I don't know. I, I, it was probably one of the greatest things I've ever, I've ever achieved. 
They ain't red. It's always in the belly. I'm just doing Wasn't that when you, uh, set a fire in the hallway and Ms. Walkovich caught you? Why are you bringing that up? You like your sister. I always bring it up the past. I, I, I let that go. Why? Hey, that was Tom. Oh, I miss high school. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was all right, I guess. It was one of the best things I'd ever done. I'll tell you what. Because, like we're saying, life is rough. It could be rough, but it'll get better. Or, it can get rough. It can get better. So we've got three generations of uh, DA alumni. Yep. He's the oldest. Ben Gathrow, class of 2000. Whoop, whoop, smoke free, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron it was Gathrow, class of 2003. Jesse Gathro, class of 2013. Just wanted to shoot a uh, quick little message to you guys and say congratulations. I know it's kind of crappy circumstances that you guys are in right now, but you're going to make the best of it. So don't let this thing define who you guys are, okay? It can be kind of rough after high school. But it's for her. <laughs> for some of you. Not for everybody. But the rest of you can be <laughs> successful. It is very possible. <laughs> but it gets way better, I swear. Basically, you were just spared having to wait in line for three hours for your name to be called on a stage. So, you know, and your your favorite person in the audience accidentally snuck a foghorn in and got... Bar, 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 bar. So you were <laughs> That's spared a good that. Point. That's a good but, point. Um, but other than that, I mean, really, yeah, life is just beginning. You've got so much ahead of you. That's right. Make the best Great of it. Job. Yep. Congrats, guys. Congrats, 2020. Woo! What can I say to help you now? Now that they ceased your drums and still your dancers. Now that nobody knows any answers. Who knows how high those mountains climb? Who knows how deep those rivers flow? Who knows just where the path may go for you? Yes, you. You'll have some other time on stage to show the world your gift and flare. Yes, you are young and new dreams are everywhere. Go and find your love. Oh.